going on YouTube? It's your boy Tech with Trey. Back here again with another video. Today I got something special for you guys. We've got Galaxy Buds versus Galaxy Buds Plus. We're gonna talk about what we like, what we don't like, what's the difference, if you should really spend your money on these, if you have these already, what which one to buy now these are cheaper. Do I go with the original Buds? Do I upgrade to baller status and get myself a pair of the Buds Plus? Look at that box though. Like, what what really should I do? I'm here to answer all those questions today with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more videos. You want notifications every time the Tech with Trey drops another video. But without further ado, Let's do it, baby! <laughs> ah. First. Boom. Let's unbox these bad boys and see what Samsung has in store for 2020. Oh yeah. So you know we got a little little box here. The packaging looks very very similar to what we saw last year. All right, I got a USB A to USB C cable. That's gonna come in handy. Don't need it right now though, so not a big deal. And then you got your baby blue wingtips, cause you know I picked these up in blue. So the baby blue wingtips. As you see right there, that's to give it a more secure fit in your ear. Definitely something you're going to be interested in if normal earbuds don't really stick in your ear like that. But, you don't need those right now. Then, you know, Samsung with the masterful, masterful color choice this year. Decided to give us a glossy baby blue case. I want y'all to really see this up close because I'm like floored. At how gorgeous this case is like you guys thought dental floss was what one of these cases looked like before not feels like a dental floss case luxury and you open them up and that's what you got going on inside there so we got you know we got a left and right we got our two blue galaxy buds plus and that indicator light on the inside to let you know you know how much charge the case has Although the left and right is raised, doesn't really, they don't press. Not sure why Samsung did that, but oh well. Um, other than that, the case feels pretty much the same size as last year. Matter of fact, we just get last year's. Last year's model. If we do a side side by side comparison of the case sizes. Yeah, no, these are the same case. Size. If you had a case, like a protective outside case, because these are slippery and easy to drop, you can just take out your Galaxy Buds and drop your, pl your Buds Plus in there, and you don't really have to worry about anything. But this is all useless if the Buds are not actually upgrades over the current Galaxy Buds. If you're worried about call quality, audio quality, battery life. Those are all things that Samsung touted are better than these. If those don't really matter to you or you have these right now and you can't really complain about any of those, don't, don't waste your time. Being a hype beast in this case is not really necessary, especially if you have the black and white versions of both of these headphones. But let's get into a little bit of audio quality testing. You know, I've got the, the Note 10 Plus here. There's the custom pair of Galaxy Buds. This is a D brand skin. Can't remember what it's called, but some robot something. Totally recommend it. You guys go and pick this skin up, plop it on your favorite device. You're gonna love it. So you don't really have to like touch anything. You don't have to do anything specific. You really just bring the buds, 
plop them open, you know, near the phone, not near the phone, it doesn't really matter. And then they give you this lovely animation. And then you put them in your ear. Nothing crazy. So we're gonna plop these in our ear. We're gonna do a little bit of listening here. So we're gonna pick up a little bit of that. Go ahead. I want you guys to listen with me here. Go Spotify, Apple Music, and download this song right now. Well, cause I, I want it. A couple of my friends made this, and that's what I'm using for my audio test today. The best of the best, I want it. Diamonds all over my neck, I want it. All of my payments are wrecked, I want it. I want the bonus, the Yaga, the Dolce, the Bonnie, and all of the rest, I want it. I want the rock and design of a and diamonds all over my vest. I want it. Hold on. We thought that we stopped, but we keeping it up. We spend all our money, your diamonds and trucks. We winning for days, gonna keep it up. Alright, so now... We're gonna... I'm gonna start the song over, all right? And we're gonna try it out with dynamic. So we're gonna let the headphones figure out what's the best settings and really try and produce the best sound right now before we give the Buds Plus a chance at proving their worth. So we're gonna turn on dynamic and we're gonna try again. I'm working my ass with the dick cause I, I want it The best of the best, I want it Diamonds all over my neck, I want it All of my payments direct, I want it I want the bullets and y'all get a dunce And the bonnet and all of the rest, I want it Okay, okay, I like that I like that So we're gonna try maximum bass now And that's because Samsung said That Here They've got a two-way speaker for rich sound And if you watch the keynote They stated that those two-way speakers, one was more of a tweeter and the other one was more of a woofer. With the original Galaxy Buds, we really had one speaker doing both jobs. But we're gonna max out the bass here and we're gonna try it again. Make sure you download the song and listen with me. The road to the top is not easy and fast Most of this shit, it get harder than math I dodge the wave and they made my own path Winning the race, I'm not coming in last If it look good, then I spend money on it Dumb is expensive, you know I'm gon' flaunt it Most of this shit that I have, I done bought it If it look good, better know that I want it The best of the best Dumb is all over my neck All of my payments direct I want the bonus, I got the Dolce Gabbana and all of the rest I don't know, the bass didn't really sound like it changed much But we're gonna give it maximum trouble now So I wanna hear it when they're really just focusing on those mids and those highs. Um, maybe maybe that'll give us a slightly better response. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's definitely give it a shot. When the rocking designer was focused and diamonds all over my vest. I want it. Unknown. I stay on the bus to get me a check. Stage it with Nike, I got me a check. You're grabbing crazy, but keep in check. She calling me baby and saying I'm next. What is you talking about next then what? Okay. Okay. I'm liking it. I've tried the AirPods Pro. <laughs> Go watch that video. They're good. They're also really good, but for $250, I think if you get to save $125, you might as well save the $125 and go with the Galaxy Buds. Let's see if we have an animation. Open. Oh, that was instant. All right, let's hit connect. Alright, thank you. Congratulations. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so we got to stay in touch with your surroundings. Ambient sound lets you hear what's going on around you. That's nice. We had those. Start Spotify from your earbuds. Alright. You can change your touchpad settings to start Spotify when you touch and hold. I'm liking that. Spotify integration. Okay. Whoa. So now you guys can see at the top here, we've got an indicator for both left and right earbud. And the case, biggest gripe about these was that I didn't know exactly how much battery was in my case. All I had was this little stupid indicator here, which, you know, is color, so it's only showed three colors. And you have to kind of like figure it out based on those three colors. So I get a precise notification as to how much my case has. And it knows what color buds I have, which is, you know, cool. That's really Apple-esque there. Um, but other than that, you know, this, this section of the menu looks pretty similar. Notifications, touchpad, advanced, find my earbuds. 
we've got a feature to use ambient sound during call, something that was unavailable on these. And I think that has to do with that extra mic. Maybe, you know, you got one mic working to hear you while the other mic is listening to the other sounds to, to block it out or let them pass through. That sounds like that'd be extremely useful. So for the touch pads, you still have the option to lock them. Touch and hold can do different things. Now we have the choice between voice command, ambient sound, volume down, and Spotify. And then voice command, ambient sound, volume up in Spotify. A uh, little less functionality than what we had here. We were able to do a voice command, a ambient sound, which is stayed on all the time, and then a quick ambient sound, which really allowed you to just quickly tap. You kind of look like you were from like, you know, Star Trek, Spock, beam me up. So, you know, they kind of took that away from us, but it's okay, we'll live. Um, what else we got going on notifications? So we have that ability to read the notifications aloud as they come through. Don't really gotta pull your phone out the pocket. Genius, definitely need that. I'm turn that on for sure. Let's get that on. Let's get touchpad, I think my left. I'm gonna set my left for Spotify and I'm gonna set the right for ambient sound. That sounds like, sounds like me there. Um, my voice commands, I'll just say, hey Google, and I should be fine. No active or always on Bixby or like anything like that. Like what you can get on the AirPods, where you just say, hey Siri, and she's listening. But, you know, maybe that, that can come in software. Um, find my earbuds. Okay, let's see if they sound any louder than before. Do not do this with the earbuds in your ear. Not a good idea. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like a little bird. Right. So you can do that to kind of see if you can find them, but of course your best option is to not lose these. Um, general, you can reset the earbuds and you can update the software, which, you know, this thing is telling me I got a software update to do. So let's do that software update and I'll see you back as soon as it's done. All right, let's pop them in for the first time and let's run a little, little audio quality here. So, let's give it a shot on normal, on the equalizer, and let's see how that sounds before we switch to, you know, something else. The road to the top is not easy and fast Most of this shit, it get harder than math I dodge the wave and they made my own path Winning the race, I'm not coming in last If it look good, then I spend money on it Dumb is expensive, you know I'm gon' flaunt it Most of this shit that I have, I done bought it If it look good, better know that I want it The best of the best, huh Dumb is all over my neck, huh All of my payments direct, huh I want the bonus, see y'all got a Dolce Gabbana and all of the rest, huh So now we're gonna sh take a shot at Dynamic I'm gonna let this thing do its thing Give me the best possible sound. We don't want to phone, we spare nobody. We kill these f***s like it is a hobby. Diamonds are rubbing, you know that I'm staying. I'm working my ass with the dick as I, I want it. The best of the best, I want it. Diamonds all over my neck, I want it. All of my payments direct, I want it. I want the bullets and y'all get a bunch of the bonnet and all of the rest, I want it. I want the rock and design of a bonnet and diamonds all over my vest, I want it. Perfect. Hey. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. I like that, but it's not that much better. So I'm gonna I'm gonna agree that this song is great, but it sounds no different on your standard Galaxy Buds, whether you got them in Chrome or you got them in black and white, doesn't really matter. As they do on the Galaxy Buds Plus, it doesn't sound any different. But that brings me to the second to last part of this video, which is charging. So you have wireless charging, you know, drop it down and it charges. Piggyback, help, I'm running low on battery. Gotta find a sweet spot. Bingo. See the red light? Charging. And then you've got fast charge, which, you know, you need a little bit of charge really, really quickly. Get three hours of charge in five minutes. Plug it in and listen. Only give the case about five, 10 minutes and you should get about three hours of listening time. 
let's give it a shot by seeing how it sounds on a call. All right, so I'm back. I'm doing my call test. I took a stroll outside. I went to buy bacon, egg, and cheese. Chef Ock was definitely arguing with Cornerstone Ock while I was on the phone trying to pay for my Arizona. And I didn't find myself repeating myself as much as when I wore the normal Galaxy Buds. Um, she definitely noticed a difference when I was talking, but she compared it to when I used my, my Powerbeats Pros, which is a compliment because Apple's mics are through the roof. There's something of another, another era almost. So overall, really, really solid on the call quality. If you want these for improved call quality in busy areas, Buds Plus, definitely go with them. Pretty much, these are the Galaxy Buds Plus. Doesn't get much better than this. For 150 bucks, you might as well try your chances and go with this if you're looking for some new earbuds. If you don't have new earbuds and you're rocking these boys, I recommend you hold on to them unless you're making a lot of calls and you think you're James Bond. If you don't think you're James Bond, you just want to listen to some good music and you have these already, keep them. If you're going on long flights and that's your, your kind of business, you're Mr. Executive, then go with these for the longer battery life. These earbuds plus the case last longer than the longest flight in the world at the moment. These don't. They just don't cut it. This Galaxy Buds Plus right there is what you go for. Okay, let's wrap it up. Galaxy Buds Plus, Galaxy Buds. You heard the opinion. If you have these and you don't care about call quality because you're not making a lot of calls, no need to upgrade unless that battery life is really bothering you. If you don't have either one, go with these for the 150 bucks. This is probably the best thing you're gonna get at that price point. If you have a Samsung, I don't wanna hear you getting any other headphones, no Pixel Buds, no Jabra Elites, go with these. The integration, the software, the Galaxy Buds Plus are offering close to the full Apple S experience as possible. If you need a valid song to bump on your way to work, make sure you want to get that money, secure the bag, go get I Want It by Unknown and Cerebral, Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, it's literally everywhere. Like you have no excuse not to download it. And then when you get a phone, whether you choose the Buds or the Buds Plus, Make sure it's the first song you download. If you got the Buds Plus and you set one of your quick commands to Spotify, make sure I Want It is the top song on your recommended. Make sure it's the top song in the playlist. When you press Spotify, you want to tell Bixby you want to hear I Want It. You don't want to hear nothing else. This is what you want to hear. You want to hear it really loud. I'm talking like, Loud. Rock is out, I want it. The best of the best, I want it. That was all over my. So, in the meantime, go get yourself a Galaxy Buds Plus and go crazy. Do it now. Get yourself a pair of these and download this song. Do it now. Like, after you subscribe and you like the video, and you tell your friends about Tech with Trey. If it look good, but they know that I want it. Go. Do it. Deuces.